Damien from TV Guide Magazine and TV Insider, and I am here with our, I mean, do we call you Nabrina? Can we? Do... I don't know. I know. I it's, so know nice. <laughs> it's so nice to have you guys back. It's been forever, and you've got a kind of a lot to do to save Greendale and the world before the end of the show, huh? No, it's a big to-do list for eight episodes. Yeah, and with you playing two Sabrinas, uh, that's a that's much more of a to-do list. Yeah, I would say so on a personal level for sure. <laughs> yeah. So let's talk about this because we have the Eldritch Terrors coming in and immediately throwing everything into chaos. Um, how do you two? How do your characters work together to stop this? Considering we still have some unresolved stuff here. Yeah, I mean, I think Nick and Sabrina uh, are off to a bit of a rough start. I wouldn't say that we. <laughs> we off the bat are crushing it as far as being amicable exes at all, <laughs> which makes it fun, but we get there, we learn, we grow. Okay. Gavin, you had Nick go through so much last season. Um, I mean, a lot of emotional stuff that I feel like the viewers definitely started to connect with him more of like as a sympathetic, like, oh, we like this guy, actually. Um, where is he headed in, in these final episodes? Well, you know, we see him last with Prudence, and it's kind of the first time that he's really coming to terms with his emotional turmoil. You know, he's sort of understanding that it's okay to leave it behind uh, we've ran the pagans out of town and, and something sort of cathartic happens when he sits down there with Prudence and at that in that timeline with Nick where he makes peace with his past and he understands that he wants to get on and he mm -hmm. wants to get back to the academy and he want to get, you know, we sort of see him go back into this stage where we see Nick in part one where he's just sort of this like flirty and fun and free kind of warlock. Mm -hmm. um, however, you know, something affected Nick when Sabrina came into his life where he really saw what love was like. And we're going to see him sort of move through being a partner in some way to Sabrina and to the cause of saving the world and defending everyone from the Eldritch Terrors. But at the same time, spending time around someone that you've been in love with, you're going to start feeling things. Kiernan, what are you going to miss most about her? Oh, my God. Um... Her tenacity, her just absolute go-getterness. I, I find that she's really fearless and that amount of just bravery and strength is something that I'll probably always hold with me, um, but I'm gonna miss playing it. I'm yeah. really gonna miss that. Um, how was it playing opposite yourself this season? Uh, very fun, not, not necessarily something I'd ever, ever thought I'd find myself doing, mm -hmm. but really fun, especially because Sabrina Morning Stars a different character, right? Like Sabrina Spellman, I know I've been for a while, but Morning Star was a different little adventure for me. And it's always fun to just get to play around. Uh, it was a new challenge and it was exciting. It was fun. It was funny though. I would finish a scene and be like, okay, on to the next one. Like, no, you got to do the other side now. It's like, oh my God, this is, this yeah. is a new world, but uh, and, it was really fun. And Gavin, um, which Sabrina do you think Nick would be more drawn to now? <laughs> uh, I mean, Spellman, it's no doubt, you know, there, Nick too has a love for the world that they're living in. The world of hell is almost an, you know, I mean, it is an entirely different place and atmosphere altogether. And Caliban and Morningstar seem to be more suited for each other in a world like that, where, you know, Nick has this deep love for the OG Sabrina Spellman. As we all do. So, well, congratulations. You guys crushed it. This was such a great adaptation. I cannot wait to see what you do next. Maybe on a show where it's a little bit brighter. We'll love it. <laughs> <laughs>